Good morning. Wow, I can't believe I'm back in Cambodia. <laughs> I love my life in Cambodia. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> wow, the month of July has been crazy month. Uh, well, how do you go to six countries in one month and survive? Uh, while you're doing it, you think like, oh, whatever. But wow, after you go through that, whew. And the July 30th, I was swimming in my pool, my one hour lap swim. And once again, heaven opens up. <laughs> and I almost feel like God saying, well, why don't you write that into a book format? Living like Kierkegaard, July 2023. Wow. You know, I'm thinking, month like this, I should write a book every month. <laughs> And, and it's not I'm writing anything. It's just a compilation, collection of the things that happen in July. Well, let's start with prayer. Father, we dedicate this day to you. As I reflect on July 2023, on August 1st, my day of reflection, day of rest, day of reflection, and just thanking you, Father, for the whole month of July, what you've done. Huh, Holy Spirit, God, thank you so much. In Jesus' name. Amen. So I had this revelation that I need to uh, uh, write a book on my life experience in July 2023 as a title, Living Like Kierkegaard. You like the cover design? Uh, um, and actually, it was published already in Amazon. And so I spent the 31st on it and i think i'm gonna do a book report on this also uh, which is kind of fabulous i dedicate this book to soren kierkegaard who taught me and so many of us how to follow the leading of the holy spirit god in demonstration not in talk to take our cross daily and follow our lord jesus christ as that individual to me to live his christ i realize um i was following christ and later found out, just like Kierkegaard. You know, it's not, people say, oh, so are you Kierkegaardian? Oh, yeah. And, well, because, yeah, he died before me 168 years ago. But then uh, it's it's not that I, la you know, I guess what it means to be real Christ real Christian. And that's what I've been trying to live. And then found out that Kierkegaard did the same thing. So in that way, so each day, and this is really fabulous because uh, uh, each day has been catalog. And this is something I write anyways, pillar of fire, pillar of cloud anyways, but then um, a little more intense. And so I would actually write. And, and how I uh, made this book is I wrote a poem out of Kierkegaard's philosophy. Long, long, many years ago. I, matter of fact, uh, when I became a student of Kierkegaard and I would read his book and down, write down his quotations and some of the good stuff that he wrote and then try to uh, categorize it. Um, and then wrote as a one long poem. I think it's five pages poem. And I loved it. I wanted to share that with uh, Kierkegaardians. So I remember at Oxford, uh, they had an international Kierkegaardian scholars meeting and there were 120 of us. And uh, George Patterson was there and the guy who was running the thing was Matthew was there. And I remember printing a copy and giving it to Matthew because he actually happened to live in the same Wycliffe Hall that I was and he's professor there. And also George Patterson, of course, is a legendary professor and he gave him the copy at the conference. And, and basically I got cold shoulders like... Phew, it's like, who's this punk, right? And I, I was really grieved by that. You know, a true Kierkegaardian should not treat each other that way. Uh, but anyways, so the whole thing of that is jump. I guess so I'm writing a book about it <laughs> instead of having it read at a conference. I thought if they read at the conference, I'll phew, trash it and I will not think about it. But then I've been carrying this poem for a long time. And um, I kind of meditate on it and think about it. Uh, because how do we communicate truth? Kierkegaardian way of thinking to others. And one way I think want to do is actually do a children's book on it. 
So out of this jump, the poetry book, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out maybe 10 principles, the Kierkegaard, and not write as an ABC of prayer, but 10 principle of Kierkegaard or something for children. Uh, so that I want children to learn about Christian faith, not based on this kind of erroneous idea like you confess with your mouth and you don't have to do anything for the Lord all because it's so graceful that you're going to be saved. Like, oh, you mean so the little kids could think like, oh, I could say the prayer and tell that I believe in my heart. And then next 50 years, I'm going to live for myself, for my family and me, myself and I and die and go to heaven. I said, no, it doesn't work that way. No, not according to what I believe. That's not what real faith is. That's not what real Christianity is. That's not what real followers of Jesus look like. So Kierkegaard uh, struggled with that. You know, what is real? You know, he deals with what is a real human being, you know? In this book, he deals with, well, in this uh, discourse, what does it mean to be a human? Right? And so, yeah, it's very far from what we think and what we claim, what we are teaching our people to be Christian and human. Well, so I could just, you know, if 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 someone asked me, can you just say in one few words what Kierkegaard's philosophy is? Now I'll say, I could say in one word, it's, the word is jump. You need to take the leap of faith. You cannot talk about faith. You cannot person you cannot make faith reasonable right you cannot reasonably believe what faith is right uh, we believe because he's unbelievable uh and then i subtitled becoming the individual and that's what Kierkegaard was going for so using that i wrote a whole long poetry book well i don't know if i'm gonna send this book to anyone but uh yeah just go to amazon Living like Kierkegaard is available. So, as I always, uh, in my sharing, uh, just daily encounter with God. You know, why was so? Is this lemmas important for me to see this 19th century musical? Why do I have to watch 19 times? Right. Uh, you know, uh, and so in Kierkegaard's jump. Don't be afraid to become that individual. And I, I think what I want to do is actually break it down. I, today, I don't have time. but So then I basically talked about my experience in Wimbledon next day and how Pastor Gordon sent me a beautiful poem about the end time that's coming. And wow. And then, oh, God, I look so tired here. Copenhagen, I went to Copenhagen again, had a nice meal with my friend from OCMS. And I went back to America and our gardens are growing. Uh, on Independence Day and I, how I found my Cambodian restaurant and how I preach. I'm literally day after I came back, I was preaching, uh, sending these people to short-term mission. Um, and I helped another poet, poet uh, publish their poetry book in English. This is, I, I think, third poetry book that I'm helping, uh, this Chung Pe Literary Award in Korea, in LA. So this is my cover design. And why I do the, those things? Why do I do those things? Uh, well, because faith is not just a concept. You know, when I help other fellow poet, I mean, that's what Kierkegaard would have done, right? So, and then how we had a catalyst, a small group, and it's that love is not concept, but it has to be lived in community. And then I preached a message on facing giant. Wow, that's, I, mean, I, I wish I could verbatim write entire sermon, but well, I don't have space for that. Uh, and how uh, these people <laughs> made a t-shirt said there are two kinds of people in this world. <laughs> it's so cute. Our church people, they're so cute. Um, and I finally marked thousand subscribers uh, in YouTube. And Martin Buber said, well, all life is all life is encounter. And I'm, I've been encountering these new people, my old people. I, I was ex-Oikos, be a missionary to Japan and Commentary on Ruth is published. My goodness, that was so awesome. So month of July, I published two books, month of, uh, Commentary on Ruth and book on coffee, drinking coffee with Kierkegaard. 
one of the beautiful people I met. See, it happened at Ju June 11th. I met them at a church. Now at June, July 13th, month later, I'm actually meeting them in private. And how these meetings, encounters, you know, Christian life is not lived out of vacuum of reality. It is lived in within the context of life, you know. And so I just published this book on drinking coffee. It's 500 coffees that I drank from literally 64 countries. Now I'm, I'm publishing coffee book yearly basis. It's called uh, Philosophy of Coffee 2023. So uh, this year, how many coffee I drink? And then I'm beginning to analyze more and more details. Um, and then I was at Seattle, Hyungja Church, and I preached three times. And oh my goodness, I met my old old kindergarten teacher. She used to be Shin Sanseng Nim, Teacher Shin. And it was just phenomenal. I just finished Gospel of John, a Gospel of John, Genesis. And some of you uh, went through that journey with me. Uh, that's a uh, gospel, daily gospel, 1031. <laughs> Uh, and then I went to Korea for Kierkegaard Research Center conference. And wow, that was a phenomenal meeting. And, and I share about how Kierkegaard Research Center came about in Korea. And let me, and, and then I have to trace back. And this was actually doing this really helped me to process. Like it's just going through this, you realize, oh my God, it's a miracle. Because just literally last year, this is it. So I cataloged it. I wrote about it so I could actually then just compose. I am not rewriting it. I'm just putting it all together. Listen, March 21st, 2021, I was swimming. And Lord said, third study begins. I said, what is third study, Lord? You study Kierkegaard professionally, PhD level. So I really didn't know what that meant. I thought really just need to go Denmark. And then April 25th, I'm meeting this guy for the first time at Sejong University, Sejong City. I fell in love with him. He already published all these Kierkegaard books. And I said, dude, you are crazy, man. You know, and so by July already, we are working together. And but well, you can't really see that's my name there. And and he and I, because I did uh, help out with the uh, commentary a little bit. I, I didn't do anything, actually. I cannot really, I should not put my name in the front. But he was so gracious and so oh, your comments and really helped me and, and so I became part of the commentary team that was July and August I went back to Korea and went to see this beautiful couple and some friends in Sejong and I reconnected and by September now we are officially doing a conference he and I and with using the book that we published together and we're met we're meeting at some meeting and there's only about 20, 30 people, scholarship, scholars. And, and I brought a bunch of those books to America. Now I'm donating these books to some libraries and some community center. And by November, these books are now officially in a St. Olaf University in Minnesota, which is unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. And then, of course, uh, this year, February, I was using that book. I did a, a, a revival meeting with 1,200 people. Uh, uh, 90 minute lecture five times and wow i end up doing 100 minute lecture five times 500 minute lecture later 120 gave their life to serve god full time based out of the teaching of Kierkegaard. and then february 17th literally let's see this was february 11th so next week i was doing a book talk with him at a joyful church uh, he did a marvelous job and I mean, unbelievable that this is only happening this year, June, and then we officially formed Kierkegaard Research Center, and we rent the space, right, by supernaturally, and we start translating John Stewart's book, which is unbelievable. We published it, right, and John Stewart wrote a foreword for that book, and then I was in June, I was in St. Olaf, reconnecting with our Kierkegaard, because I became their uh, um, curator in 2007, but now... Anne and Brian, who's the uh, sorry, John Stewart's friend, appoint me as international direct board member of St. Olaf. And then I was at Denmark, Copenhagen in June. Uh, all that happened. That's unbelievable. And then, of course, I went to preach at this church on Sunday, and he actually became he encountered God year 2000. So he was so amazed that 23 years later, I would be at his church because uh, 
And then I did a re one day revival at Christ Church. And I went to back to Cambodia. And then um and then I went to Thailand next day and held this 1,800 young people meeting. I did a workshop with 70 people there and unbelievable. 300 kids gave their life uh, to serve God full time for at least one to two years in mission field. I did a lecture. Well, if you can just click that. I, I found out I could do QR codes on any lecture I want. You know, and then you do that and you this will take you to my YouTube teaching of this particular thing. Wow. And uh, someone had a poem of the day, sent it to me that was very, very profound. So I listed it. I went back to Cambodia and I was revelation at the pool. Um, and in the afternoon, we're having our private worship or not private, it's uh, encounter. Oh, I spell residence from there. Gotta go correct that. Well, month of July, it's been one crazy month. And so what, what I did was I put all the publication and this is how many uh, YouTube posting I have to do per month, you know, yeah, you know, to tell people that, yeah, I do 60, 62 uh, posting per month. It's, it's just like one sentence, but when you graphically see it, this is like, oh my God, I did all that in one month, recording and posting and yeah, that's, that's 62. Wow. That's crazy. And of course I was using Genesis. So these are all the Genesis stuff that I printed and all the Ruth I printed. And, and, and then when he was aired through academia.edu, uh, Yeah, people actually get to read what I do through academia.edu. There are 230 million scholars, and I'm the top 3% right here. And, and just month of July, these are how many people uh, came and read and downloaded my papers. Uh, 1, 000, 1,054 from 19 universities, right? 36 countries, 103, 103 cities. It's just kind of unbelievable that we have access to that. So... Oh, maybe I should stop there. Wow, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we are so thankful. The month of July has been crazy month, Lord. <laughs> crazy. And I give you glory. And I just pray that uh, you will be glorified in the things, Lord, because it's just, with man, it's not possible. With Bob, that's not possible. But you made it possible, Lord. So we are thankful. We give you glory and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord bless you. See you tomorrow. Mwah.